Hi, today I would like to talk about server sent events in HTML5 uh, which you can basically use to push data to the client and not have to do AJAX or anything like that and it's a great way to do that. To do the server sent events on the server side I'm going to use node.js and a package that I'm going to use that is available is called SSE and this is uh, you can just do a search for SSE and the way to install this package is going to be npm install SSE so let's get started uh, basically I have a little web page uh, to test this and the web page is really not doing anything this is just uh, header information I have a div for the log where I'm going to log the information and it's going to use an app.js file so let me just get that started so I'm going to do the search and uh, have the HTTP server started. So if you see, if I refresh this, you can see uh, the only thing I had was this HTTP server heading and there's a div for the log and that's pretty much it. And the only other thing you may notice is that uh, it's making a call to localhost here 8000, uh, which is uh, where I'm going to get my push data for the server. And so to see that what you all have to do is go into my app.js which is being included here and it's very small It's basically declaring that this is all HTML5 is saying it's a new event source and my event source is going to be at this address localhost 8000 and when the event message comes I'm going to just log the console event data and I'm also going to add it to my div log so you guys can easily see it. So that's all really on the client side and uh, let me just show you the server side a little bit more as to how to do the server side eventing. Uh, basically I'm using the SSE which is the SSE module here. This is pretty standard in node HTTP. Uh, I'm just setting a variable that I increment every time I push an event to the client. So I'm going to create a server and <coughs> first thing I do is response.writehead. 200 which is okay and that you do need to set up the content type to be text slash event stream for server sent events so that's what I'm doing and I'm doing the access control allow origin because my uh, this uh, the server which is pushing the events is on uh, a different uh, local host address here I just have a little set interval function that I have set up and all it's going to do is uh, send this message every three seconds uh, one thing to note about how this message has to be done uh, typically uh, you have to set up ID is equal to some value so I'm setting up ID colon message one then you have uh, the new line character then I'm just saying data is equal to test plus the value and then we have uh, two new line characters to terminate the message so the client can uh, knows that a new message has arrived in the server side uh, listen is pretty straightforward. The only difference is we say SSC, new SSC, and you give this uh, the server object that you created up here, and you say SSC on connection, and it just sends us initial message. So if you look at just this, and now I'm going to go and start this client uh, server, and the way I'm going to do is I'm just going to give node and give it this file that I showed you, the JavaScript file. So now my SSC server. Uh, should be running which is going to generate the push data so what you noticed initially is that the client browser client browser since it didn't see anything uh, earlier it was always sending this local uh, host 8000 messages uh, for every three milliseconds but now since it's uh, connected using the server sent events and the push there's only one get coming in from the client and we can monitor this message so you can see here I'm getting all the server events that are being pushed to this client and if you look at the detail little bit you can go into localhost networks and uh, uh, you can look at the event stream in uh, Google Chrome tools so here you can see the ID is message one type is message and the data is being incremented and in the headers you can see that was sent to localhost 8000 and uh, here is my content type text dash event streams so if you want to know more about this and other tools, you can basically go to my website, Gaur Associates, and I'll put the screencast and the link over there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast.